everybody and welcome to today's video. If you're new, welcome to my channel. I hope you're all doing really well. So today I'm super excited to share this vlog with you. Last Saturday I went to the London Dungeons which was actually gifted to me for my birthday from some of my friends uh, which you might have seen if you watched my what I got for my 21st birthday video and yeah last Saturday was when we actually went and experienced the London Dungeons and I wanted to do a vlog on it so I'm going to jump into my vlog in a minute but then I thought after that I would explain a bit more about what the London Dungeons actually is because when I got the tickets for it I was obviously super excited but I didn't really know what to expect. So I'd looked for a few vlogs on YouTube and I watched quite a few of them, but none of them really explained what like would happen and like what these tickets were for. And I've got on their website and I've got it in front of me about like what is the London Dungeons and like what to expect with that. London Dungeons is a very hard thing to say. I'm gonna struggle with that throughout this entire video. Um, but yeah, I couldn't really figure out what it was that I was getting myself in for. Um, so I thought after I have shown you guys my vlog from when we went, um, I would do a bit about like what it actually is because you're not allowed to film inside the attraction, um, which is why I feel like you going a bit blind um, but if you are interested in finding out what actually happens and like if you've got tickets yourself or you're thinking of going hopefully this will be helpful to you so make sure to keep on watching but I will now jump straight into my vlog when I went last Saturday. that was it that was my vlog from the London Dungeons as you can tell I couldn't really film very much in the actual attraction so I wanted to do a little bit about like what actually happened now so if you go on the website for the London Dungeons I will link this down below um, but there is a whole page about like what is the dungeon and it lists the names of each of the kind of rooms but it's not very helpful if you don't really know what the actual attraction is so I will give you a brief overview now so essentially this is like a walkthrough attraction and you go from room to room and there is one or two actors in each room um, and they have like a story. So you have a bit about like Jack the Ripper, um, you have the gunpowder plot, you have like lots and lots of different stories. There is a Sweeney Todd one, there's the Fire of London one, like there's lots of different rooms that you just kind of walk through um, and they each lead into another. So you go into a room, you experience what that is um, and then a different actor will come in and take you into their room which follows. There's not really like a way of getting out of a certain room that you have to go through and experience each one, which then goes on to another, which I actually thought was really good because I think it lasted about an hour and 15 minutes for us. Um, and like, you know that it's gonna be that long because each of the rooms has a separate performance. So it was quite nice to kind of know how long we were gonna be in there and that we were getting like our money's worth because we got a performance in each room. 
Also, there is a ride at the end. It is a drop ride, um, which is kind of like Tower of Terror if you've been on that, but it's really scary because you don't go up, you like sit on the ride and then it just drops. So you don't know how long you're gonna be falling for. And I was super, super scared. We actually got our ride photo because my face was just a picture. Like I was so scared on it, but it was really, really good. Um, so that was a really good end to the attraction as well, which I didn't expect there to be a ride. So that was fun. So in terms of what actually happens in each of the rooms, they're all very different and the kind of setting of the room is dependent on the storyline as well. So like one of them was in this um, like bar and they had like bar tables and each kind of bubble like group sat at one bar table as well. Um, that's one thing I will say as well, they were really good at social distancing in there if that's something that you're worried about too. Um, they were really good at that. You all had like a spot to stand on in your group and you were all really spaced apart from the other groups and they only let like a certain amount go in at a time. So you've all got that spot to stand on and then you just go to the spot in the next room as well so it was really good in terms of that. One thing I will say because I don't want to go into too much detail and like spoil it for you but also I was curious before I went as to like what it would be like um, but I hope I've given some more information as to like what actually would happen but yeah it's like one or two actors in each room um, and yeah they tell you a story they might pick on you though so that is something that I probably would have wanted to know I mean I kind of expected it when you go in you kind of like get the gist of what's going to happen anyway um, but you might get picked on and there's lots of different rooms with lots of different actors in so it is pretty like set that you will get picked on at some point in one of the rooms um and I mean just go with it like they're all like funny and it's yeah you're not going to be asked to do something that like too crazy but there is like a torture room in one of them and like one of the guys I was so glad it was not me had to like go and sit on this chair and then they used like the torture devices and then showed him what they were going to do to him obviously they didn't actually do anything but yeah I would have hated to be that one um or like there was one where it was like a Mrs Lovett's pie shop themed room um and she was talking about how like she was obsessed with Sweeney Todd and then she picked on my friend who I went with and she was like don't you dare flirt with him and like she was like giving her the eyes um so yeah they like pick on you but it's all light-hearted and funny they do actually take photos of you throughout as well so there's like three photo opportunities I think so there's two at the start and then one on the ride at the end um, and I thought that was quite nice because then we could like buy our photos and have these memories to keep so I hope this has helped and explained a little bit more about like what to expect at the London Dungeons. I had a great day and um, I didn't want to go into too much detail about like what actually happens in the rooms but some of them are quite scary and it was quite a scary experience overall so I would be prepared going into that. Um, but yeah it is a scary attraction but I wouldn't say like I go to Thought Park Fright Night every year and it's not kind of on the same level as that. Like kids go through it I think. Like, I think you'll be fine um, but yeah it's quite fun um, and scary at the same time and I had a really good day so I hope if you're going as well that you really enjoy it too if you have any questions for me on my experience I will be answering them down below if you did want me to um so yeah I hope you've enjoyed watching this video I hope it's been helpful and I will hopefully see you in my next video bye